What up world, back with another one. So it's been about a million years since I've had like a cheesy macaroni and cheese. This is a penne pasta, but you know what? I'm classifying it as a mac and cheese just because the noodle isn't mac doesn't mean it's not the same thing. It's really just a homemade cheese sauce with some toppings on a pasta noodle. It's just shaped not like an elbow. It's shaped like a, you know, a weird diagonally cut tube but I actually prefer these weird diagonally cut tubes than over macaroni. So very, very excited to get into this. I just wanna get straight to it. Uh, I'll tell you kind of what I did. It's pretty, it was pretty easy, pretty like low effort. Um, definitely like kind of like a lazy man's mac and cheese. Uh, and then let's talk about actually sort of a story time of something that happened like in the last two weeks involving a couple subscribers, some of you guys, and uh, Ariana Grande. So I'm gonna go in with a spoon because I just think that's probably the better thing. Less clamp, clamp, clamping with on the glass with a fork. And uh, see what we got. Add you, sir. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's nice. Really, really nice. I'm also for the spoon. So what I did was, I just made a very simple, basic, and that's, well, it always is, but I made a roux. So a roux, for all of you who don't know, is just mutter, uh, mutter, butter melted down in a pan. Then you add and whisk flour until you get sort of like a, you know, kind of thick, like pasty substance, basically. And that allows the cheese sauce to thicken up. Uh, I put in some uh, like table cream and milk. And then I just had a brick of mozzarella laying around that I hadn't used in a while. Some parm and um, this other cheese called imperial cheese. It's like a cracker cheese, comes in a little tub. It's sharp cheddar though, but it has like a cheese whiz-esque taste to it. So it's a pretty predominantly white cheese sauce. So just made the cheese sauce, cooked up the noodles. I like them a little soft. I don't like el dente. I don't understand el dente to be honest. I don't really like my noodles to have like that, this firmness to them. And then as you'll see on top here, if you can get a glimpse on that. I literally just crushed up cornflakes, sprinkled them on, and then diced up pepperoncinis and pickled jalapenos. Which I'm a huge advocate or proponent, proponent of 
like when it comes to cheesy things, I love anything like sharp, pickled, briny. Mm, right there, I just got a, a hit of the jalapeno. So good. It cuts through the richness of the cheese and just, just gives you such a flavor pop. Steamy. Believe me. Oh, and then I forgot to mention the faking bits. The processed made out of I don't even know what bacon bits. They're super trashy. Yet super delicious. All right, so a couple weeks ago, I did a Subway video. A couple hours after posting it, I see in this comment by a subscriber named Donnie. Shout out you, Donnie. He comments, Ariana Grande likes your song, Baby I'm Bad. I'm like, okay, whoa, wait, what? I haven't released this song yet. I made it randomly like a month ago, one night out um, in Toronto. Met a dude in the streets. He was like, I told, showed him the idea. Like I just did it for him on the street. And he's like, studio's right around the corner. Let's go record it. So we recorded it. I put up a snippet of him and I in the studio of just the chorus basically coming together. And yeah, that was whatever. It's just, I'm, I'm still sitting on it. Like I'd like to do a video for it or whatever. So I'm hella confused. He's like, Ariana Grande likes this song. I'm like, how would that even be possible? Now, the one way, the only, and this is what I was thinking, I was like, the one way it would be possible is the fact that there's another subscriber out there in, in the world that I chat with that uh, her cousin works like within the industry, works for like, a, let's just call it a major label. I don't want to drop too many names here, but, uh, she offered some assistance. It was like, yo, do you have any unreleased tracks that you'd like to send over? I can maybe pass them along to him. He can kind of shop them around, whatever, whatever. So I slid her a couple tracks. Her and her cousin. She, she showed them and whatever, whatever. He's like, yeah, I'll take them and maybe see what I can do with them. So I kind of had that song, that song technically leaked out to like one person, but I'm like, there's no way that they got it in the ears of Ariana Grande and then she's listening to it on a live stream. Like that makes no sense. Like it has to be more random than that. So I go to my Instagram to go to message uh, the subscriber that has been helpful. And I was like, yo, this is what's happening. Like, I'm getting all these, okay, and actually I should say, when I got on Instagram, I had like 10 notifications, comments under that video, the snippet of the, the song, Baby I'm Bad. And it was other subscribers, you guys being like, yo, we were just on Ariana's uh, live stream. She was totally playing this in the background. She was bobbing her head to it, nodding. She was feeling it like, Everybody's like, yo, like you were on, like it was, she heard it on her live stream. So I'm like, okay, this is pretty crazy. Now, let me just say this. I'm not like an Ariana fan or anything. Like I'm not 
starstruck by her, but she is like a, the most followed person on Instagram and B just like a huge celebrity. So there's that, but so it's cool to be like, okay, so somebody of that stature, that's that deep in the game, heard this track on her live stream and was bobbing her head to it. Like, that's cool. I also know just in life to not get too like read into that too much and be like and get all hopeful of like it's clearly just like a random event so i messaged the person i was talking to about that stuff being like yo did your cousin like get this song in the hands of like some deep people like like did did, did he really come through like that hard or what and she's like, crazy, no way, what? And so she goes on her mission of, like, looking into things. And then so I was asking around, asking you guys, the ones who commented in the in my Instagram feed, like, like was it the whole song? Was it just this, this clip from my Instagram? Like, I don't get what's going on here. I'm, like, super confused. I'm going to do it to him. Sorry, guys. A little bit of ketchup on here. Might as well, eh? So I'm just, I was just super confused. Eventually get to the bottom of it, bottom of it that it was somebody like around her in her camp. Like, it don't, I don't think she was the one going through and clicking on stuff. Like, she was just hanging around talking and then someone in in her vicinity somehow some way ended up on my 10 second snippet on my profile from like a month ago of that song so just the chances of that are random and weird because it's like like that's an old post already. Like that's it's not new or anything, right? I didn't do it like that day. So So basically you guys confirmed by multiple of you who were in her stream, the everybody was like, "Oh yeah, it was just like it was the clip playing in the back and she was like bobbing her head to it, but there everybody's like it was this song. Like it's not like I can't mistake it. It was the song playing." So, random, weird, kind of cool. What I think would have been, like, funnier or cooler would be, like, she's feeling it, and she's like, who is this? And then they, they show her the profile, and then they, like, she goes in, and she's like, wait a minute. Why does he look exactly like Mac? R.I.P. very bummed out he's gone but that would have been crazy if she had a little more intrigue and then like went to go like look at the profile and was like wait a minute why is this guy looking so much like mac i can't wait for the people in the comments to be like haters being just like you don't even look like them. You don't even look like them. I'm not saying I do or anything or I brag about. Like It's not like a point of that. It's just literally my entire life of my channel. I'm going to say on almost every single video, I get at least one comment of somebody being like, you look like Mac Miller. You remind me of Mac Miller. Are you Mac Miller? Are you related to Mac Miller? I come to your videos because I feel like sometimes when I'm sad that he's gone, I come here and it feels like he's not completely gone. So just... I'm not the one saying it. I get this, like, literally <laughs> 10 times a week. So, it has to be true to some extent. So, yeah, pretty, pretty funny, like, random event. It's like interesting in the moment. I was just so like, what is going on here? It was very random and unexpected and just very confusing. 
because I just was like, I haven't released that song. But if she was listening to the whole version and it was like in the hands of somebody over there, that would have been sick. Not the case, however. Mmm. I feel like this is such a a Megan McCollum video. I swear she she does a lot of like one dish, like big dish, you know, meals or whatever like that, like dirty big dish meals. And she uses a spoon. But with pasta, we know, at least for me, I can't eat that much of it. I'm stuffed right now. I did a pretty decent job. If I'm being honest, I could probably eat another, like, four big bites, but I would be, like, not happy with myself. I'd be, like, uncomfortably full and just... I don't ever, I don't, I just don't like feeling like that. Okay. That's got to be it. This was good. Delicious though. Very delicious. To the next one. Eat good, live well. <laughs> stay George, stay true. Peace.